Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one, it is time to talk about some clues and theories for the Season 8 story. We haven't done one of these videos yet and I've really been wanting to get around to one, but here we are and we're finally going to be going over some interesting stuff. I'm talking about like the possibility of a Kraken type monster maybe attacking the map or something like that. That is right guys, there may be some clues pointing towards that. There's also an X on a treasure map that I may have found the location of. We've also got a bunch of other theories, one has to do with the hybrid skin and stuff like like that so it's going to be a very fun video and as always guys if you want to help support me you can do so by using my supported creator code the llama sir and shout out to these people on screen for using my code and tweeting me a picture of them using my code over to my twitter account but as you guys know i sometimes may choose people that tweet me a picture of them using my code and shout out their twitter names in a video but overall guys huge thanks to all of you who have been using my code now on top of that guys be sure to hit that like button down below let's see if we can get 5225 likes i don't know why i picked that number but i think we can get there right so hit that like button down below and let's go ahead and get into it now the first thing i want to talk about right here actually has to do with the hybrid skin now there's a few things surrounding this skin that i think are pretty interesting and i think could have the possibility of doing with the overall story now as a reminder guys before we get into the theories and stuff like that these are just theories they aren't confirmed yet but they are based on clues that can be found in the game and as you guys know epic games loves to hide clues about the story and stuff like that in the game and then we get to have the fun of maybe like coming up with ideas of what they might might mean and I do think some of these things are likely but like for example here let's start off with the hybrid skin as you guys probably already know and this is super obvious I'm just bringing it up to catch up those of you who aren't aware of it but the hybrid skin is technically from the dragon eggs that is right guys the same eggs that were from the polar peak castle as you guys may already know the prisoner took those eggs apparently since the eggs are in his you know domain of the volcano but then we can also assume that they hatched into the uh, hybrid skin since if you take a look at the shoulder pad of like the skin itself it looks like that same type of thing that's inside the dragon egg itself and then on top of that for even more confirmation the loading screen for week two you can see the hybrid skins you know leaving from the volcano also the prisoners in the back and i believe some broken eggshells it's a little hard to tell and by the way guys what are your thoughts on this skin you leave a comment down below what you think about it do you like it is the black heart skin better i'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it i think it's pretty cool but yeah we're getting off track but yeah that stuff's pretty obvious the more more important thing that I want to talk about is that if you take a look at one of the stages for the hybrid skin, it's like the final main one, you will notice that it actually has lightning going around it, which I find very interesting. Now, the reason I find this interesting is because, well, recently we've been seeing characters with a lot of like elemental type powers ever since the start of season seven. Obviously, we had the Ice King as the first one, and he has the power of ice, you know, that whole event and stuff like that. But he was the first character in the game to have uh, like special powers I believe and then after that obviously we saw the prisoner with the power of lava or fire you know it's sort of hard to tell if I'd lean on the side of lava because he's obviously in a volcano but that was the second character that we saw get some interesting like elemental type power now after this if this hybrid skin or creature whatever you want to call it has like the power of electricity that's the third like elemental type power that we've seen so could we continue to see more characters with special powers and like one of my really crazy ideas about this so this theory is pretty out there, but what if we see a character that specializes in water? And if that character specializes in water, could that then lead to the underwater, you know, parts of the map theories that we had from the previous season? Because I still think it's very odd that that whole, like, submarine is there and all of those clues we've talked about a ton. So that could be a possibility. Again, we're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm just throwing it out there as an idea right now. But keeping it going here, let's talk about something that has to do with the buried treasure item and its map. We actually have a lot of things to talk about in regards to the treasure map but this first one is pretty interesting that I think will lead us into the other stuff you know coming up in a bit here but this one has to do with a specific X on the map itself that I find very very interesting and I may have found the location that it's pointing to but if it's not the location like what else could this mean could this have a larger meaning who exactly knows but yeah either way let's go over the clue right here so yeah if you take a look at the map from the specific buried treasure item and like here's a picture of it right here you will notice that there is a red red X over towards the right side of the map. Now that X itself seems very, very interesting because, well, if it's pirate treasures, wouldn't that X usually mean something important? Now, as you can tell from where it is located, it seems to be to the southeast of the volcano. So if we go over to the volcano and I took a look around quite a bit, I would assume that it would be somewhere in this area, right? Well, I wasn't able to find anything that sticks out, you know, in this general area. Nothing that looked like an X or anything like that. 
however, if you go a little bit more north, you can actually find a X made out of rocks, as you can see right here. Now again, this isn't like exactly to the northeast of the volcano, it's more so to the east of it, but it's fairly close either way. So could this be the X that the map is referring to, and it's just, you know, a little bit off? Obviously, the map isn't exact of like where the volcano is, it's sort of like a general area, so could they match up? Now, with that being said, does that have any meaning? Is this just like a little easter egg it could be but maybe we'll also be seeing something happen with this since you know treasure and all of that stuff has been such a huge part of this season so yeah i wanted to bring that up i found it pretty interesting and maybe we could see more happening with that coming up but let's go ahead and move on to this other thing i want to talk about here which is this helicopter so as of me making this video this helicopter is you know actually pretty close to where this uh little rock formation is but i'm pretty sure that this helicopter has actually been moving around the map i believe it used to be over towards that, um, you know, what do you call it? There's like pools of water. There's also like the outpost type area. I believe it was over between there, but now it is over towards the east side of the map to the north of Lonely Lodge. But as you can see, what sticks out to me about this specific helicopter is that I'm pretty sure it's the same one that like that, you know, organization was using that started around like the Dusty Divot incident, you know, when, when the meteor hit and stuff like that. It's got the same like color markings as the um, cars that were from back then. And I think there was also a helicopter, and it's possible this could be a similar one. But either way, this definitely seems to point towards that organization or whatever investigating what's going on with the volcano. And this organization has been around for so long. I mean, considering that the uh, Wailing Woods bunker, the big one and stuff like that, had the same symbols as those cars and that organization, it definitely sticks out to me. Now, obviously, that big bunker is gone, but as we talked about in a previous video, a secrets video, there is still the small smaller bunker right here which seems to have a connection to this secret organization and rifts and stuff like that so with that being said i think it's likely that they're investigating what's going on here and we could maybe see something happening with that maybe we'll see a new bunker maybe we'll see the return of rifts or maybe and again these are just ideas are they going to try and take advantage of the powers of the ice king maybe the prisoner all of those things are stuff that i think could be possible but considering that this helicopter is moving around it means that they probably probably want us to take note of it and that it could play a role in something happening soon. Now after that guys, let's talk about what's probably the most interesting thing I want to talk about in this video and that is the possibility of a Kraken monster maybe attacking the map or something like that. Now I know that seems pretty far-fetched and I feel like there's been theories about this from like way back when, but there are some clues that could possibly be hinting towards something like this. Now the main clue that I want to bring up here and just getting straight into it is a clue that is shown on the treasure map so again the buried treasure the map that you know the prop or the map that is with that just take a look at the details on this map you have the volcano you have dusty divot tilted towers loot lake the pirate ship all of those are represented also polar peak can't forget polar peak but all of those details are represented and those are things on the map however if you take a look to the left side of the map you will see what seems to be a kraken type monster that is right guys it's got the arms it's got uh it's a little bit hard to see, but actually if you take a look in the trailer for Season 8, you can get a closer look at this as you can see right here. You can see that this monster has a fairly unique and well-defined design to it. Now I will say that if you take a look at this map from the trailer, it's quite a bit different from the one in-game. But this monster right here is very similar to the one on the Buried Treasure map. And I mean, you can compare the two, they look very, very similar. So I think it's safe to assume that they are the same. But again, it's just, it seems too well-designed to not mean anything. Anything. And if you take a look at all of the other locations that were represented on the map and are things that are in the game like the volcano, tilted towers, polar peak, all of that stuff, it seems like they wouldn't have included this unless it meant something. So are we going to see this monster play a role in the story? I think it's very, very likely. Now that could mean a bunch of different things. Maybe this monster is going to come over and destroy uh, polar peak since that's the side of the map that he's showing up on. And like, here's a quick design I made just to illustrate that point. So obviously it's not official, but this overall idea, I definitely want to look into it more. And maybe that could lead to like the underwater stuff and things like that. But I do think that we need to take note of this and look around for more clues in regards to this monster because it sticks out to me and it just seems like something that's uh, pretty important. And on top of that, guys, if you take a look at the pirate ship, you will notice that there's also something that looks kind of like a Kraken monster right there. So maybe that's another thing pointing towards that. And you see this symbol like everywhere in regards to like the pirate.
pirate type themed items and things like that so could the two be connected but i don't know again the design of that you know monster on the map seems so detailed and specific to not be something there's also a skull and crossbones near it so maybe that's something to keep in mind as well and maybe that's pointing towards again like polar peak or something getting destroyed maybe you have to fight it i don't know that's just a theory but i think these clues are something we need to think about now you also may have noticed that there seems to be a llama type monster over on this side of the map as well i'm not sure if that means anything but it definitely could but yeah that would be pretty funny i gotta admit so yeah guys that is going to be it for today's video if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more fun videos like this coming out in the near future on top of that you can check out some of my previous videos here such as on the left my guide for the version two of the high stakes challenges and then on the right my week three challenges guide but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one